Hey guys, I'm Skylar. I am new to YouTube and I will be making a makeup and hair tutorial today. The hair tutorial will be following this video, so keep updated on that. Um, if you like the makeup tutorial and you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell right beside that subscribe button so you'll be able to know anytime that I post a video. I will be trying to post every single day. If not, I will update you guys and let you know why I'm not posting today. Or that day, anyway. <laughs> um, so, today I'm going to be showing you a basic makeup tutorial. I've done this when I was 12. And I still use it because I'm in a hurry a lot. So, I don't get to do all the contouring to my face. Which, I love to do that too. But, this is quick, easy, takes 5 minutes to do. And... I don't know, for days that I really don't want to put on makeup, I enjoy putting this makeup on. So, yeah. Um, what you're going to need is foundation. I use liquid foundation. I feel like it works a lot better on my skin. You're going to need concealer. And, guys, you guys can get this at a dollar store, a drugstore, anything. Compact powder, which I've had people tell me they don't know what this is. So, it looks like this. Um... You're gonna need some blush, eyelash curlers. If you don't know how to use these guys, today's the day for you guys to learn. Mascara. I use two different ones. I use a volume and I use a lengthening. They're not made by the same people at all. This one's actually a really cheap version of a CoverGirl and L'Oreal one. So it was cheaper. It works. I got it. You don't really need these, but it helps if you use them. I use brushes and a blender. For the sake of this video, I'm probably not going to use it, but I might end up forgetting and using them anyway. Because I'm a very forgetful person. And if you make any mistakes, guys, don't worry. You can get a wash rag or something. But I use these cotton rounds to clean off the makeup. It's a lot easier. So let's go ahead and get this video started. So what you're going to want to do first is shake up your liquid foundation or just get your stuff ready to use your regular foundation whatever you prefer to use um my foundation is a dropper so i'm just gonna squeeze some into my tube i'm gonna place my foundation over there and i'm just gonna drop that onto my hand okay so it's right there on my hand guys I swear Okay, so you're going to dip your finger in it. You only need to put about three dots in each area. Of course, your nose and your chin don't really count as areas. Uh -oh. This is how much I use, and I always have extra on my hand. So, I'm gonna wipe that off my hand. Okay, then you're just gonna rub this into your face. I'm sorry if I'm looking over here too much, guys. I have a mirror right here that I use to make sure that I'm hitting all the spots that I need to hit. But. So now that I have that put on my face and it is laid in really good, um, it's time for the next step, which you guys probably think, oh, why didn't she put the concealer on first? Well, since I'm using the compacting powder, it's going to lay the concealer out a lot better than putting it on before. So now you're going to take your concealer and you're going to make a little triangle. 
it's a really messed up triangle, but it's still a triangle. Same thing on the other side. And this is just to cover up those bags if you have bags in the morning, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I still use this step just in case because throughout the day I get tired and I do end up having bags under my eyes. So, and then I'm going to cover up any dark spots that I have that I do not want to show up. For this part, I am going to use my blender for this up here. So you're just going to rub that in. Alright, now I'm going to use my fingers. Okay, so after that step, you're going to put on your blush now. So, and if you don't have blush, that's fine. You can skip this step. Just hang in there with me because i got to hold on to people who do have it. Um, so, I guess I'll just use my fingers for this since you guys probably are. If you're not, that's great. Um, but if you are just using your fingers, you're just going to take two fingers, mix it in between the two, and you're going to lay it out on that cheekbone right there. Same thing with the other side. And then just to make sure mine are even. Because I'm really bad about my fingers. I'll do that. Oops, sorry, I have to sneeze you guys. Um, next is the compact powder. Very important, do not ever skip this step. So most of them have this little pad that comes with them, which is great. I always used it until I got my powder brush, but I will use this to go along with you guys. So you're just going to pat it in here a few times and then dab it on your face. You don't ever want to smear it because if you do, then it's going to get caught in your pores it's not gonna lay out evenly um so just always make sure you pat instead of smear sorry guys i was reading a message i got from somebody on musically Oh, and one of my friends just snapped at me too. Oh well, they can wait. Okay, now that I have that on there, it is all laid out and blended in really good. But I'm going to go ahead and use my brush and just kind of brush over it. Just to make sure I didn't put too much on. It looks like I did pretty good. Okay, so next you're going to need your eyelash curlers so just make sure you get your eyelash in there and press down for a few seconds not very long 10 to 15 seconds usually cuts it which is not long at all which my eyelashes may not curl since I have already done this today but we'll see Okay, well, they curled a little bit. Next step is your mascara. If you use a lengthening and a volumizing one, do your length one first.
to another pet parts then. Time to do the volume masking one. If I don't throw it across the room first. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on with my right eye right now, guys. I don't know why my eyelashes are all clumped together, but my left eye looks better. Anyway, that is the end of this makeup, makeup tutorial. I do not edit anything out of my videos either, guys, so if I mess up, you're going to see it. Because I do not see the point in making people think that you're perfect when you're not. Everybody is imperfect, and that is perfectly fine. Just remember that I will be trying to upload every single day, and following this video, there will be a hair tutorial. I'm going to show you how to French braid into a ponytail. There will be one from the side up, down the middle, and then from both sides up. And I might end up adding a bonus one, but you'll have to watch it to see what it is. Um... So, if you liked this video, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for the next so you'll be notified when I post another video. Um, and I hope you loves have a great day. If you have any critiques for me, please do not be afraid to comment below. I do take that stuff seriously. I'm very well aware that I'm not perfect and I'm absolutely 100% fine with that. Thank you and have an amazing day, y'all. Bye.